Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Reflections, a joint program between Cambodia ASEAN International Institute and Tomei Tomei Online News. I am Odnam, Directors of Center for ASEAN Studies and Moderators of today's discussions. For your information, the Reflections is a discussion in English on various topics to share experience, skills, thoughts and life lessons for young people and the publics. For this, for our discussions, we have our ground rule in discussions. Our first rule is to not associate with any political issues, while the second rule is not to humiliate any institutions or individuals. Today, discussions we are discussing on domestic education versus overseas education. And joining me by our first speaker, Rosanik Su. Rosanik Su is a master graduate from the Universities of Leeds, United Kingdom, and she specializes in international uh, marketing management. Next speaker is Mr. Sin Kosal. Mr. Sin Kosal is a master graduate from Institute of Foreign Languages, Royal University of Phnom Penh, and also joining me is by Lim Chai. Lam Chai is a sophomore student's major in international study from Institute of Foreign Languages, Royal University of Phnom Penh. Today, discussions we are discussing on domestic education and overseas education. As you can see, that the current status quo of Cambodia, we can see two phenomena in which a number of students are pursuing their higher education overseas, while the vast majority of students remain undertaking higher education in here, Cambodia. Let me begin with the first question for Rosanix. You went to United Kingdoms. In particular, the universities of League for your master degrees. Was this your first wish to study in the United Kingdoms, or was it influenced by someone else? Um, thank you, Bong Adam, for the question. This is uh, basically my uh, completely my decision. Um, this was not influenced by anyone, um, and my objective to study in the United Kingdom is that I value their education system, and I also uh, would like to pursue my higher degree, which is my master's uh, overseas, because um, I think that for my skills, which is marketing, uh, it is very important to actually be up to date and uh, study what is out there, and then I can bring it back to Cambodia. But if we compare you to the rest of Cambodian females. Not many Cambodian female could pursue master degree overseas, given the fact that Cambodian family generally concerns about the safety, concerns about the doctors. Why, or what are the main reason that set you apart from the rest of Cambodian females? I think this is quite an issue as well, and um, most of Cambodian females, I could see that right now there's an increased number of uh, more females going out. Uh, to overseas to pursue their education. Um, what sets me apart is that I have this um, whole principle. Um, my family and I both value education. So uh, basically, after I finish my bachelor degree, um, it is important for me to go for higher uh, education abroad. Um, and also, um, I encourage uh, women, uh, actually both men and women. Mm -hmm. um, if it's about education, then they should prioritize um, their studies instead of uh, gender or any concerns about safety. Because actually, if you apply for scholarships abroad, you get sufficient fund, and when you go out there to study, um, you get guarantees. And the other foreign countries is not like uh, Cambodia. Basically, I I could say that the environment is really. Uh, uh, quiet, it's, mm -hmm. it's really calm, it's really safe. So uh, if you are confident enough and you are careful enough, I think this is not an issue. I will come back and talk to you about your competencies and skills you gain from overseas. Let me move to Mrs. Sinkosal. Mrs. Sinkosal, you decided to undertake your master's degree in Cambodia. And then why did you take this major in Cambodia, not overseas? Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Dom, for your question. To be honest, uh, when I finished my ma uh, my bachelor degree, I uh, at that time I did not intend to pursue my higher education. 
But uh, funny, like, because of my friends, two of my friends, they are close to me. They said, that, oh, let's go to uh, study a master degree together. And then, and, okay, that's a good idea, because I still have two of my good friends with me. So, and then I, I realized that after I finished my master degree, I think it's, it's good things, because I, I think that I, you know, I, I made the right decision. And I think that uh, I could see the, the things that I, I learned from my school, the uh, credibility and, uh, you know, the system and everything that I, uh, I got from my school, I think it's very, very good. So, uh, plus, I think that I, you know, for sure that when we want to pursue higher education in other country, probably we have to wait for some time. So, I think that uh, when I made a decision to continue my master's degree in Cambodia, mm -hmm. I just, you know, just go straight away. So, I don't have to wait uh, for long. And plus, because of the, uh, I would say that I believe in, in also in the system in my uh, country as well in my school, so that's why I get back to you. He mentioned that he believed in education systems in Cambodia That a part of the reason that he decided to study in Cambodia back to you Did you believe in Cambodian education systems or did you or, or you didn't believe for that reason you you went to study in in, in the UK uh, personally, I, I do not want to upgrade or downgrade any education system in the world. Um, I do personally believe the education system in Cambodia. Uh, it's just that I have a different reason for going there. Uh, it doesn't mean that education system in Cambodia is bad and I wouldn't like to pursue it. But the thing is, uh, it really does depend on your situations, uh, your skills and the majors or courses that you are choosing. Basically, uh, for me, uh, as I mentioned, I study international marketing management. And this is a field that is very, very um, changing like mm -hmm. it's 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 very uh, unpredictable mm -hmm. so every month every year marketing trends would change there are so many uh, updated new uh, advances and findings so basically I believe that um, the study in the UK will provide me a better insight and will lead me to uh, to a really much improvement in my in my skills because I already did my undergrad uh, in Cambodia which relates to international business so mm -hmm. I think that uh, this is already my foundation. So if I go to pursue a, a master degree, a master of science in the UK with a more specific major, mm -hmm. I could come back even stronger. I'll come back to you later. Talking about Lum Chai, you recently graduated from uh, your high school with an A grade. Given your capability, you can go to study at any country for your bachelor degree. And then why Cambodia? Thank you, Wong, for your question. Uh, since I graduated from high school with grade A in 2016, and many people think that I can't apply for the scholarship abroad, but that's not really. I uh, it is easy for me to apply for the scholarship abroad because uh, the first reason is very simple. When I was in high school, uh, my English was not really good enough to apply for the scholarship. And the second thing is that it's my family concern. So they think I'm not really independent enough to live far away from my home country. But I think these two reasons is not really the major obstacle for me to apply for the scholarship. Uh, the thing is that I found many benefits to study in the country. Uh, let me raise an example. I am in an international relations student. Mm -hmm. So every day we focus uh, so much on the international politics. We study a lot of the politics of the country around the world. But suppose that if I, a student, will become a diplomat in future, we will represent our, uh, our country to join the international conference or meetings abroad. So I think uh, a good diplomat, you will be aware of your country, you will be familiar with your government structure, and you will underst uh, well understand about your home country, right? So uh, study uh, from a perspective is that in order to understand one country, is the best way is to live in a country. So I want to uh, understand more about the Cambodia political system, about the political situation. So many issues happening inside the country. I am in the real situation, so I will be better analyze about the, uh, the issues happening around us uh, better than the issues that I got from the news. 
you are implying that studying overseas or pursuing your studies of overseas those do not understand Cambodian situations. Is that what you were saying? Yes, because I think living in Cambodia is, better, uh, is a better way to understand about the uh, a lot of the, but in terms of politics, in terms of the government structure, because in this measure we focus on the politics. So before understanding the foreign country's politics, foreign country economics, so we have to be family in our home country. But talking about your, your major, international studies, many people concerns about when they graduate from international studies, they don't get a job because the market is so small. Is this a concern for you? Talking about uh, the reason that I chose this major, firstly, it's my personal interest. So I found this really interesting. But regarding the current and future employment, I think the market is not really type for the IR students. Uh, we can consider about the, 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 the Cambodia is the developing country and we, we have to acknowledge that we still lack of the human resource in the diplomatic sector. So I think uh, we need a lot of the human resource in this field, especially international relations. And in this century, we, uh, is, this century is considered as the in the era of the globalization. So I think international relation is really important. And one more thing is that we can see the ASEAN integration and Cambodia signed many treaty regarding the international treaty like uh, free trade agreement. So in order to fit in this way, we, we still need a lot of people specialization in this. And one more reason is that uh, the foreign policy making is also important in the, this work because uh, we need a lot of the specialists in order to represent the Cambodia's role in the regional context as well as the global context. In relation to your experience, I myself undertook political science when I was in my undergraduate program. I found out that very few people took political science. In many ways, I believe that political science is related with international relations. Yes. So um, it tend to me, uh, it was the fact to me is that it was not many students who, um, who took political science with me because of the family pressure, because of the, the family perceptions and cultural perception, believing that learning political science is, is it learning about deceiving people, it learning about lying people, and many people did not even talk to me. Uh, do you experience that in your study? Yes, of course, because uh, especially my family, they think that, okay, you are studying about the politics. So maybe it's, it's a bit dangerous or what, but I don't think study political science is, is a study about the, how you criticize the government or, or what, but you just study about the theory and you, you make the theory to apply in the real situation. It's not really about the bad thing at all. Mm -hmm. I'll come back to Rosanix. Yes. In Cambodian families, generally, um, female students find it very hard to seek permissions from their family, uh, from their parents' studies overseas. Tell us about what was the case that you could convince your parents to allow you to go to the United Kingdom for your master's degree? Um, this is a very uh, important question, actually. Um, so for my case, I do accept that um, for uh, females uh, to actually uh, get out of home and mm -hmm. for a year or more than a year outside just alone and doing uh, something else besides being in a home country is a hard decision and uh, for my parents it, it was also a challenge um, and for other issues I, I, I have uh, confronted my parents are quite uh, strict and very structural so uh, but for uh, studying abroad for my case uh, it was not a primary issue. Uh, why? Because uh, both of my parents uh, really value education. So uh, basically, um, even if I have to go abroad to study it, it was the right decision. I mean, they, they all have worries and concerns every other time. They, they, they still feel insecure and unsure when I was about to go there. Um, but then I think uh, one, one of the best ways that I did was that I proved them wrong. So basically, um, I, I applied for a scholarship. I passed the first stage, second stage, to the final stage where I, I proved them that I had the ability to go to study. That's the first one. 
so that they have the confidence that I could get it by, uh, on my own. And then the second stage where I convinced them that I was able to go and live there and, and finish my studies successfully is that when I went there, um, um, I showed them uh, that I, when I lived independently, there was no big issues. Um, I could uh, uh, fare well uh, within one year and a half. And then at the end, I uh, received a really satisfying result. So that made them believe even more that um, no matter um, how, how young or how old you are, or no matter if you are female or male, if you, are, if you have the ability and the confidence to both live and study abroad on your own, then you are enough. Ladies and gentlemen, we will come back and talk about consequences and competencies afterward. This is a reflection and we will have a 15 minute short break and then we will come back right after. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Reflections. Let me get back to our speaker. So, you went to the UK for your Masters of International Marketing Management. When you come back to Cambodia, how do you seize the opportunities in terms of employment, in terms of other opportunities? When I came back, um, the opportunities were very vast. So, um, um, there were so many uh, chances for me to get into different industries um, and there were also uh, so many calls about other fields as well so it's not just about marketing uh, basically uh, most of the institutions they would like people who have international exposures um, to work at their um, um, companies or, or organizations um, for me uh, it, it, it is a really good opportunity for every place um, I think um, after my studies abroad, um, I, I, I could be offered uh, in, uh, for so many jobs and so many opportunities to, to have a talk or, or even to, to uh, teach a class. So uh, for me, for me there was, uh, compared to previously when I was before uh, my studies, um, it was much, much more. And I could say even if the, the opportunities were so many, um, I have to still be even more specific than uh, previously when I was here because uh, right now that I finished my master's, it is important for me to really be focused on in one, in one or two goals. So um, even if there are so many uh, chances for me to, to do anything, I still have to be uh, very fixed to uh, my uh, long-term career, which is uh, marketing. Good so. She was talking. Uh, she was talking about different opportunities mm -hmm. that she could get or offer to her after her graduation, given the fact that you pursue it in Cambodia. Was it the case or is this the case for you? Well, it's, I believe that it's, it depends on the individual as well. If they, uh, for sure school is one thing and if you can pursue to higher education is, is another thing, it's good for you uh, if you can go abroad. For me, I still believe in the uh, individual if they focus enough if they know what they they know what they want to do, and they put like passion and interest into the into it and and make it happen, I'm sure that they can get a job easily. And for me, after I finished my master degree, or even my bachelor degree, I got a job. Yes, and when I finished my master degree, I I could uh, upgrade myself. That means that I could apply to work in a better institution. Uh, I mean, a better school. So uh, I could see that, uh, you know, they, they accept me because, uh, because of the quality that you have. So again, it's, it's not just only about the, uh, you know, uh, where you, you are in a country, outside of the country, but I want to focus more on the, the, the things that you, you're really, really into it and you have that potential to show to the, uh, you know, the, uh, the school or, or the place or workplace that you want to work for. Chais, you were doing your undergraduate in Cambodia. How do you feel about it right now? Superior than those who are taking overseas or inferior to those who are taking it overseas? 
Well, uh, personally, I think that domestic study is not really like this job opportunity is also vast depend on your personality. It for, uh, de depends on your hard working during your study time. And one more thing is that uh, I'm consider about I'm considering about the the master degree to OC as well because uh, one thing we have to to acknowledge that in some developed country. All the education system is actually better than our country. So uh, when we know a lot about it, our country, is it is time for us to explore new things from other countries as well. Back to Rosa next. You went to the UK and then you got back. The ideas that is going around Cambodia right now is this. When you go to study overseas for two years or one year, you lose your job opportunities you you lose the opportunity to get promoted how do you see this case um, before I uh, really made a final decision to go to study abroad uh, this has already been through my thoughts because I knew that the, the much more time I spend outside the more time I lose and the more uh, chances I lost um, for getting promoted and, and uh, being more experienced and skilled at my workplace uh, but then I think um, you cannot get both things at the same time because uh, I have to really put my value in one thing so if I want to pursue my higher education if I want to get one valuable certificate in one point of my life, I have to lose time to, to, to do my job. And I think it's worth it because um, uh, I agree with Bong Gosal. As long as you're really into something that you love, as, as long as you're good at it, and as, as long as you really, really think that it's your um, um, ultimate goal, then I think it's worth pursuing that even if it means you uh, uh, have an opportunity cost of uh, getting promoted at a job because uh, when actually when you go out there and go to study outside like master degree or something um, you actually uh, gaining something else besides your job because when when you gain your your skills outside and you came back um, this is another uh, upgrade that level where you um, uh, because if you if you spend one or two years inside the country and work for the same thing, okay, you might get promoted. But then when you go outside and came back, you actually uh, automatically upgrade yourself and probably when you came back, you're automatically in another level in an employer's perspective. So if you think that you really love what you do and you think that this is worth pursuing, be uh, having the opportunity to work in, in the country is something you have to lose, but it's worth it. But Mr. Kosal, we can see that a number of master graduates are being unemployed right now in Cambodia. Is that because they are not really into it? Or how do you see it? Personally, I think that I don't know how, like how many percentage of the unemployed for the uh, master degree or the, uh, what you said. I, I think it depends, again, it depends on the individual. Like, if they really want to get that job, you know, and if they reflect back about their capacity, what uh, they have learned after their graduate st uh, study or from their master degree, look at their potential, the way th uh, the knowledge and the skill that they have. If they they don't have that kinds of uh, potential, for sure, even they finish their <coughs> master degree, still, you know, uh, they they cannot get a job easily. So again, I, I believe that it's about the individual. And I could see, like you mentioned, you know, there's a lot of uh, people that they finish their master's degree and they, they don't have a job. But look back at their knowledge, at their capacity, where they think that it is fit with the uh, workplace, or like the company or the job that they want to do or not. So uh, I still believe on that if they are potential enough, for sure that they will get a job. But if not, Mm -hmm. I think it's it's hard for them. Okay, get back to Lam Chai. Lam Chai, you were doing your undergraduate of international studies at a university in Cambodia. Do you see that you are on the right track of getting the right skill for the right job that you want to do? Yes, I think uh, I think my decision is right. Uh, personally, this is my interest, and it's also related to my long-term goal in the future. Well, get back to to you. After you graduate. 
do you see that you get the skill that you wanted? Yes, I did uh, because I, I spent the whole year focusing on what I really wanted. So in the first place, uh, I, I, I knew what I was going for. So in the end, um, I, I knew what, what I received back was, was what I intended for. But don't you see that when you study, most of the time you study theories, when it comes to work, it tends to work differently from what you learn. You are right that it's different, but this is also the reason why I went to University of Leeds to study. Because why uh, the course in that university in the UK is really practical. So it's not just going about studying what marketing means, but actually I did case studies, I did seminars, workshops, I did projects for real companies, um, and I did a lot of reports that, that reflects back to the actual society and marketing field. This one year experience of doing those practical things is basically what builds me up when I came back. Um, what, uh, what, uh, in, in, real, in realistic situations, I could apply it very well. Well, she talked about practicality. Get back to you, sir. You graduated from a university in Cambodia as well. Right after your graduation, do you see that you got the right skill, rise of what you want to do, or your experience tell you that you now gain a skill that you wanted to. Okay. Back to uh, my master degree, we did have like case study and we uh, share a lot of, uh, because most of the uh, students in the uh, undergraduate study, they all teachers, they all, because the, the subjects that I was taking is, uh, is uh, teaching English as a foreign language. So we have a lot of uh, teachers that they, uh, they come together in one class, they share experience. Even we, we don't have that practical during our study that the school provides for us, but we experience outside. I think this is something good, you know, that the cause, uh, they, they have a lot of uh, like people from different fields, I mean from different schools, they come together and they share experience. But did you get what you wanted? Yes, I, I, I believe that even it's not 100%, but I could see the, uh, the things that I got from the school. I would say that it's not 100%, but I'm satisfied with what the school offered to me that uh, provide me enough skill and knowledge uh, for my job you know, after I finished the school. Well, let's talk something in general a little bit. Maybe anyone can, can answer this question. What can be the main reason for Cambodian students to study overseas? Maybe each of you can see one major reason. Well, I have to start from Lam Chai. I will finish my bachelor degree in two, in two years. I have two years to go. And that's time for me to explore something new uh, from other countries. So we will learn a lot that, uh, that we cannot learn in the, inside the country. The fact is that uh, we still lack of many learning materials. I mean, uh, we have to do a lot of the research during my mas uh, our master degree. So I believe that uh, there will be many uh, much more uh, study materials than inside the Cambodia. And when we know about um, uh, our country, and it's, it is important to explore and bring back all the knowledge into our country as well. How about you, Mr. Gosal? Do you see any major factor for Cambodian students to pursue the higher education overseas? For me, I I believe uh, for sure it's a like a plus because as you can see that if it, we study in our country, we see it's just something in our country. But when you go abroad or to different countries, you can see something different. That's make you more like creative you will have a lot of more ideas to, mm -hmm. to bring it back to Cambodia so that you can apply those ideas. Mm -hmm. For sure that probably it's not 100% comp like you're gonna take everything but probably you can take something that can apply in, other con in our country so that it can work for the people here. Rosanik, do you see any major factor for Cambodian students to pursue the higher education? 
Um, apparently, there are so many reasons uh, for Cambodian students to pursue their study abroad. And um, I can confirm that it's not just about studies. So firstly, if we talk about studies only, then um, I, I think the reason Cambodian students would go out there to pursue their education is that uh, there's a pool of available courses abroad. So um, we're born with different skills, with different sets of passion. So uh, whatever you like to do, uh, whatever you want to do, uh, you can choose from the whole pool uh, with the abroad uh, foreign courses. Um, secondly, um, it's not just about going to, uh, you know, to pursue and achieve a, a foreign certificate. So, so the second reason that, that Cambodian students would go to pursue their study abroad is that you can actually have an opportunity to practice yourself in a really different way. So whether it's about research, whether it's about writing papers, whether it's about uh, doing projects for real companies or real organizations, is this is an opportunity for you to experience out there, which is so different from Cambodia. And um, also, um, the third reason why uh, Cambodian students uh, would go to study abroad is not just um, um, you go and you study and then you come back. This is not it. So education is one thing. But another thing is that um, you actually go and live your life there. So basically, it's like you travel and you live on your own and you study at the same time. So this is a chance for you to be very independent. So most of the students who went out there and studied abroad, um, actually most of them would say that it changes their life. So for me as well, it exposed me to international experience. It lets me know how it feels to, to be alone and do my studies uh, all on my own and uh, go anywhere, do anything mm -hmm. all on my own. Even if I have issues, I still have to deal with it alone. So um, this is a very, uh, very uh, precious experience uh, that uh, everyone, uh, uh, I think, should, uh, you know, uh, be able to achieve. Uh, but having reasons to go to study is not enough. I think uh, this is also about your goal. Um, make sure that you don't go there just because you have the reasons to, but actually you also, what is the thing that you want to achieve at the end of your studies? So um, um, I think it shouldn't be a trend where, where Cambodian students would go out to study. It should be a specific um, 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 intention for you to go and study. So it's, it's not just about um, I want to be in a foreign country, I want to live outside, or uh, I want to have a foreign certificate, um, I want to, to have a, a good experience, but it's, it's also about what do you really want to accomplish? So if you know that cl clearly in your mind, uh, what is the thing that you would like mm -hmm. to, to uh, get back when you come, when you, the moment you land back in Cambodia, you, you say to yourself, I, I did it, uh, I got what I wanted, and it's worth it. So if you have these moments in your mind, then I think um, it's more important than why you're going there. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching The Reflections and we are discussing about domestic education versus overseas education. And I would like to thank this speaker for spending their time sharing the ideas, perspectives and thoughts with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching The Reflections. See you the next show and next topics. Welcome to CAM ASEAN. This is a wonderful school for you to master your business English skills as well as your professional skills. CAM ASEAN has well-appointed classrooms, also a student lounge and a language lab. The language lab is wonderful for them to improve uh, by themselves their English abilities. We have a wonderful conference hall where we host uh, many activities. I am Sunny. I studied Business English and Skills at Cam ASEAN and I'm ready for the ASEAN integration. So why wait? Come and join us now. Jangsaksa Pisa Anglen and Junin Saksa Cam ASEAN.